Hello mortals, we're making this video for a very specific reason. Panda want to show how to do it, so anyone can do it too. Charlie will say how to do the cool stuff and Panda will show how to do them. Before we start, remember to subscribe, like and share the video, and ring the bell so you'll never miss an upload. video you don't see panda do the starting position, left arm is tucked, palm facing up and touching your ribs, right arm is at chin height parallel to the ground with palm down, moments before the first drum sounds, swing arm like you see, it's important to remember depending on the style, stances, how tense you are, and power all varies throughout the form, this form mostly follows what is known as a, eye pattern, with some deviation. Most of the moves are rather easy but the difficulty comes in working with the music and understanding what each style requires of you. For example in Tai Chi, you should be relaxed and your movement continuous. While Northern Shaolin Kung Fu, you should be fast and powerful. When you drop into the horse stance remember to stay low. You don't want to look like you're taking a shit. Fold and turn to your right then slowly pull arms away. Do not overextend your front stances. Bring arms and legs together. Drop into horse stance again and strike. Remember don't take a shit. Repeat everything towards the left side. This is a simple air movement, stances does not need to be low and is not recommended to attempt it. Remember to spin in one direction then repeat the intro. From the horse stance, stand up and circle walk towards the right 4 steps. If you did this correctly you will be right behind the starting position. Circle walking is funny, you do 8 steps to make 1 circle. When circle walking remember to walk like you're trying to avoid stepping on Legos. Keep your hands, eyes, and chest facing the middle. Rotate around Perfect it. rotation. More air bending stuff. Watch very closely cause it's very hard to explain. Remember stances are not low here. A nice thing about this section is once you can do it on one side, you can easily do it on the other. Remember to be relaxed the entire time, and again stances are not low. When you put your leg down after kicking, you'll shift all your weight from one leg to the other. Don't drop into a horse stance instead into a cat stance. Now we can be Zuko and Izola, Charlie. What Mochi means by that is this whole section is almost one to one from the actual Agni Kai scene. Take a look. No you're not. Jump like Mario and switch legs. Land like Panda and do Zuko move. Touch your back leg to the front foot. Fold and turn all at the same time. Left foot steps out and chop with left hand at the same time. Lastly you'll turn and look over your shoulder to do Azula combo. Hook kick, round kick and tornado kick. I still learning how to kick good but a lot of kick have three parts. You have chamber, then kick, and last part recoil. Tornado kick is kinda scary, but it also has three parts. Step 1, turn looking uppy. Step 2, jump switchy. Step 3, kicky. I call it uppy, switchy, kicky. There's three ways you can do this. 
tornado front, tornado round, or tornado crescent. They all work just fine and the only difference between them is how you chamber the kick. If for whatever reason you can't do a tornado, you can opt out and do this move instead. Now moving on to the next section, drop into this power pose, it may look familiar. Try to keep stances low, when you drop into this power pose. It's not a horse stance but a low back stance. Pay close attention how the arms move as this section is the most difficult part. Again keep spinning in one direction, Panda is breaking up the move so you can better understand it. After the push, step back and fold. Drop into the low back stances and left arm points, right arm high blocks. Pay extremely close attention to the arms and hands. Now again at a different angle. When you get to the X block, left palm faces towards yourself and right away. Back leg steps as if you're walking forward then unwind. Left arm swings down right swings up and land back into the power pose one more time so that you understand what it looks like congratulations you just learned the hardest part of this form i told you they can do it charlie this next part is easy even i understand it that doesn't mean a lot coming from you Meanie. Remember to step in front and when you drop into horse, instead of punching you'll do Zuko's block. You do the start again but this time no punches. First move is the easiest, it consists a simple block called the one finger block. Don't actually try to block anything with this, it's purely for show. Second move is a simple front stance with a high block and vertical punch. The hand that did the one finger block also does a high block. Third move, open both hands and sweep them up. X block, break, and double block. As you double block, bring the back leg up into a chamber. Fourth move is better to show than tell. When you strike, remember to shift your weight. Last three moves are very simple. It's from Taekwondo. Before you can finish off the form, you'll need to learn how to lightning bend. Fortunately for you Panda will demonstrate how to do it. Remember this entire section is mainly Tai Chi, so there's a lot of continuous movement and shifting of your weight. If you need more help you can follow this image as it breaks down each part as well details that can be overlooked. Now you can do this form. For timing with the music watch this video for help.